Hey guys, this is Crystal Cook with ACDI and today I have Faith Smith with me. She's the Professional Services Assistant Manager here at ACDI. Hey Faith, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Making it here. <laughs> yes, one day at a time. One day. Um, I'm very excited you joined. So I had this idea recently to just start having some conversations with females in our industry that are just killing it, doing a great job. Uh, I want to hear a little bit about what you are doing. Um, maybe your journey with ACDI. You've been with ACDI two and a half, no, four years, haven't you? All right. Yeah, it'll be four actually, years, yeah, four and a half years. Five yeah. years in May. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, like, love to hear a little bit more about that. And you've come across a lot of interesting things, you know, being a manager through this COVID time. And I kind of want to circle back around and talk about things that you did to keep your team connected and things that, you know, we found working with these customers during this time. Sure. So first of all, I'm going to kind of give you the, the ground to introduce yourself and just talk a little bit about your five-year journey you've had so far. All right. Well, thank you again for having me. I'm super excited to, to share with everyone. Um, I started with ACDI four and a half years ago as a project coordinator. Um, at the time, we had two project coordinators for the entire United States. OG right there. <laughs> um, looking at the project count that we have now and thinking back how did the two of us do that yeah um literally no clue um and I, I don't even like I remember writing end user names down like on a notebook and then when we would have the pre-call I'd go back and do a check mark when I, I got the SOW I would do a check mark I love it we had nothing to we, we weren't tracking any of that and and to see, you know, where we are today versus where we were then. Um, two project coordinators and we were in a little building. What is that like five blocks down the road before um, the new building was ready. I actually started about two weeks after they moved in. Yeah. Um, to the, the old, it was a cleaners. Um, yeah, it's like a little storefront downtown. Yes, yep. now it's a boutique and I actually went in there and it was so weird to go in there and see racks of clothes and dressing rooms and like their break room where, you know, where I worked for, you know, yeah, a year and a half. Um, so I started as a project coordinator and was eventually promoted to lead project coordinator. Mm -hmm. That time we had three project coordinators and myself and we, um, divided accounts up based upon um, their different status, um, various. We tear them up pretty much, right? Yeah. Yep, I was gonna say cut and. <laughs> At the very beginning of the tearing. <laughs> yep, so yes, so the way we divided accounts up then and the way we divide cut accounts up now are completely different. Mm -hmm. Now we have the team approach. And it's, um, it's, it's crazy to see the division where it was then working with just a few engineers to now. Um, we have, you know, an official training department and we have, you know, quality assurance and we have um, integration development. It's insane to see the growth that we've had in less than five years. Yeah. So how has the project coordinating team grown? So we are right now, they're a team of four. Mm -hmm. For US, right? Yep, yeah. for the US and LATAM. Um, we also, well, Canada and LATAM. Mm -hmm. So they're divided on, d depending on what region they fall in. So Northeast, Southeast, um, regions across the country. And you've been like instrumental in scaling these te teams out, right? Like every year as we've grown, we've always just brought in more project coordinators. We've developed new systems. Put new yes. processes in place. Yeah. Yes, we're we're definitely adding to the to processes. Um, I know some people when you say the word process, they get they they cringe, but I get so excited. Yeah, <laughs> it gets it gets me excited. I'm like, oh, a new process, a new workflow. Yeah. Yes. Um, but yeah, we have different. There's so many new things that project coordinators are doing from a project management standpoint mm -hmm. today that we weren't doing then, and it truly is. It's just a more hands-on approach um, and their technical skills mm -hmm. um, are m much greater than, you know, it was with me when I joined 
you know, in 2017. Yeah. Um, Paper so, cuts much more feature rich as well, right? Than it was. Absolutely. And the different certifications that we can get level one, level two, cloud, high availability. Um, so, yeah, the project coordinators are definitely, I would say they're 50 to 60% more technical than, than I was whenever I joined for sure. Yeah. Well, not just the project coordinators, as all of our teams on that side started to scale out, right? And we started putting together entire departments or groups for certain projects. You've been a piece, you know, a person, a piece of that growth, you know, throughout the, the entirety of it. And, you know, you're now an assistant manager on that side where you are pretty much overseeing the growth and, you know, all the employees over there on that side. So that's, that's a lot. That's serious growth with ACDI for sure. That's it's awesome. really cool to, yeah, to see the team just grow and all the ideas mm -hmm. that, that are coming from each individual. Um, when everyone had some downtime to actually take a, take a breather and, and, and actually put their creative minds to work. Mm -hmm. Um, the 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 internal tools that have come out of it are nothing short of, of amazing. One um, of my favorite things about ACDI and especially your side is the fact that it's so different every single year and there there's not the mentality of we've always done it this way. That just doesn't exist here at ACDI, especially on your side. It's like, hey, how can we think of a cooler, better, more innovative, effective way to do this? And yeah. I mean the growth from that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been over this team now. You were over this team for probably eight, nine months before COVID, I think. Um, so you already had some remote employees. So what are some things that you've done to like keep this team connected throughout this time? So when we were first sent home in March, um, immediately we started daily uh, Zoom meetings mm -hmm. uh, with our team. We used to meet twice a week and it was Everyone would go in the conference room, remote employees would just dial in, but then we started to where people could actually see face-to-face. -face. Um, started doing that five days a week, then we kind of scaled it back to two to three times a week. Yeah. But making sure that our remote employees are heard and everyone as a team stays together. We want that team collaboration. Um, how we, we, you know, now we're, we're at about 50% back at the office. Mm -hmm. So I'm still trying to make sure that we, we have everyone and they're collaborating. We actually, today, we kind of trialed having our stand up in the lobby and it was weird. People just like standing there having the meeting with half we of them. We saw that, we were like, are they striking? What's happening over there? We were worried for a second. <laughs> we, tried, we tried to stand there and you know, it's, it's like everyone's just, you know, what do we do? Like, what do we do with our hands? Do you like, you know, <laughs> so you have to like relearn how to hug someone. You're just, oh, I love it. Yeah, it's like air hugs. Yeah. So but, you yeah. guys were also really on, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, really no, on fine. our minds when it came to um, helping customers because we were remoting in and helping customers with paper cut when even dealers weren't able to get in the building. And we were kind of their first line of help probably for things that weren't even really in our scope. So, right. you know, what did you learn during that time? And, you know, what would you say to our partners right now about going the extra mile for their customers? So we, we really did have to pivot and change the way that we approach our installs um, from something as simple to an email that goes out to our reseller on re recommending someone to be on site where now we're not, we're not pushing it. We understand that you can't go on site. Um, we're helping Betty at the front desk to plug in a card reader, yeah. uh, you know, but you know, firmware still has to be updated. There are certain devices that require external modules. And before we had our resellers on site, our literal boots on the ground to help us with these, you know, installations and overnight, literally, we didn't have it. So we truly had to, to change the way that we approach things and, we had to go the extra mile on a lot of projects where we did things that we historically would have pushed back to the reseller. But if it's going to take us 10 to 15 minutes and it's going to avoid a reschedule for the customer, ACDI and the reseller, knock it out. Let's do it. Let's move on to the next one. And everyone's happy in the end. And 
prevents an escalation and no one likes an escalation. Yeah. You know, I had shared with you when I was doing some of my sales trainings that I would, instead of teaching them how to sell paper cut, I would just show them Zoom or, you know, some internal tools to use for communication. And I did a couple of webinars on working remote. And one of the things I said is, hey, if you're actually on site and there's something that you can help a customer with, even if it doesn't fall in your scope, I mean, help them out. Like it's going to build that relationship. They're going to remember people that really went to bat for them when they right. knew, when they were kind of in a bind. Yeah. And that's really different. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome attitude to have moving forward. And Faith, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Please come back on again soon and we'll talk about more stuff. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye.